Welcome to day two of holding myself accountable. We're gonna go through our master plan today. All right, so step one is to buy some land. You can't have a sanctuary without land. We do have a GoFundMe link here. I will say the goal is a little steep. It's set at 500,000. Don't judge me, anything is possible. So go check that out. And once we have land, we can move into step two, which is gonna be working on the foundation and the structure of the sanctuary. Clearly we have a lot of factors to consider, but to sum it up, it's gonna be operationally efficient, it's gonna be financially efficient, and it's gonna be sustainable so that we can continue to grow and bring in as many rescues as needed in the long run. After that, step three is the exciting part because we can start bringing in some rescues. We will be bringing in the initial rescues in two phases. This is strictly because while volunteering on sanctuaries, I notice it's pretty easy to start accumulating rescue animals without having a plan. And this can cause problems down the line, obviously with finances, with medical bills, feed bills, and then also just being prepared and having the proper structure for all of the animals. With that being said, phase one is gonna be larger animals like cows, horses, and donkeys. They all have similar diets. They also are lower maintenance than the rest of the smaller farm animals. But once we're comfortable with the way things are going with the larger animals and we're operating at a surplus, so we have the reserves to start building infrastructure for the smaller species, that's when we'll transition into phase two. All right, see you for part two tomorrow.